welcome to uh, the brand new 2014 Moto Show. Yeah, I Have thought you, you were going to do the wave then. I uh, thought you were moving no, on. the wave. Do we need a new wave, do you think? Oh, people, will people, like one of the way of folk singers singing about how much yeah, they like the old the, the wave. wave I think yeah, no, I think we've got to keep it. Yeah. Got to keep it there. What have you done to this mic here? It's like, it's like Jack Duckworth glasses here. What have you done here? Well, we've run out of tape, didn't I? So I'm <laughs> <laughs> sellotape, right? <laughs> funny, <laughs> if I rustle while speaking, it's because of Chuzzy's uh, sellotape. But anyway, welcome to 2014. 2014, brand new year, brand new racing, brand new bikes, brand new kit, brand new show, brand new... And the Everything. same, same got, crap weather outside. Oh, it's, it's awful. awful. Yeah, awful weather. Um, I hope everyone had a good Christmas and New Year. I didn't. I had the... Uh, <laughs> deli belly, was it, deli perhaps? Deli belly, yes. I had a nasty deli belly. Assisting your weight loss, so. Well, no, it, off you. it made me feel... I thought I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> Both ends, it's never good. <laughs> I was looking through old, old pictures I sent across to you. There's some pic pictures um, of the team or uh, pictures from, from the team back in 2011. There's a picture of you, which hopefully you'll flash up at this point. On that picture, you look so bad. And you had a rough night out the night, bef the night before. Well, actually, I'm, I'm on my second stage now. I've, I've doing a, I'm doing a, a challenge, a V8, what they call it, from Men's Health magazine. Yeah. Um, they, Are you going to be on the cover? No. All, all ripped and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Abs of steel. <laughs> and um, can we yeah, mock so up? Can we mock up a cover? Please, <laughs> please mock up a cover I'll, of you on it. Oh, I'll try. I'll yeah. try. But um, yeah, so I'm doing a challenge for those guys. Um, they've sent over in the mag and stuff. It's a good, good thing. And so I'm on my next stage. Yeah. So um, I'm. I decided I'm going to grow my beard until I hit that next level. Man, that's that's dangerous. <laughs> So, You'll be like Gandalf. <laughs> You'll be down here. No, well, I'm we'll, still not there. We'll be fine. A month or yeah. so. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Man, you are going across to um, California with that look. I am going. King of the Bears. <laughs> You'll be very popular. You're going, going to San Francisco as well. <laughs> There's someone on your shoe. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, so all good. And the hood, what about you? What have you been up to? Uh, we went away for Christmas, which was really nice. Well, I went down to, down to Devon, loads of ri riding down, but it didn't take my bike down there because I thought it would take my bike. It would destroy the point of actually being together with the family at Christmas. So that was really, really great. Weather was, was awful. Uh, but, you know, we weren't in a position where we're getting flooded out. But we even went to the Christmas carol service. Because it was on, and we like, well, 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 it's got to be. It's Christmas, and it's like I haven't been to a Christmas guy since I since I was about I don't. But you used to be 14. a chorister. Yes, I did. Used to be a chorister. I'm, uh, no, I'm not giving you a photo, <laughs> photo of that really, realistically. <laughs> like, in fact, you can actually buy me on record. Uh, car carols at Bristol Cathedral. Snowman. And I, uh, I didn't do the Snowman, <laughs> but I think if you buy the um, about 1978 edition of that album, I'm, I'm on there, so you can hear my dulcet tones. Oh. I think I'm the one that coughing in the background, to be honest. <laughs> Got the fag hanging at you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, really, really good Christmas down there. Got back just be, before New Year. Uh, quite new, quite new year. Um, didn't manage to go out the, on the bike, but probably on the bike it's next flat, weekend. It's flooded everywhere. Yeah, it is. I did some, some stuff in the, in, in the Y Valley. We put some pictures out because obviously changed the, changed the bike for a 2013 KTM 250. Nice. Uh, really, really, really happy with that. So I was out on a couple of times on that one and looking forward to maybe actually get some racing in this year. That would be good to do some racing. Ready? Yeah. Hey, I'm making a, I'm making a comeback as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what mountain bike racing? No, I'm not, no, no, I'm going to ride the bike this year. What motocross? Motocross. I, I, I just I've got nothing to say. You've, you've, you've doorstep me with this one. What what class are you bearing? Like, oh no, I'm not racing. Oh, only oh what's the point of that? No, one it... of the long, one of the long termers. I'll ride that thing. Can we have this on film? Yeah, that'll be superb. <laughs> Get off and fall off the other side. <laughs> So, yeah, well, hang on, the gears are on the other side now. <laughs> hang on, when, when did they Where's change? The when gone? did they change? My BSA wasn't the same as this. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I am, why not? I'm absolutely fit, fine. I'm super fit, super, I am, at, do you know what? We haven't I got an 85 on the fleet though, have we? <laughs> <laughs> I, did t t I did a test yesterday at the gym. Yeah. Now, I stopped, I stopped doing the rowing machine ages ago when I was tub tub not get anywhere. Because it was awful. I hated it. I've always hated the rowing it's machine. It's intentional. They often place the rowing machine overlooking the pool to yeah. imagine you're it in water. It was overlooking the tennis court. That's what I am. Oh, that's so, no good then, yeah, is it? No. Who's rowing around a tennis court? <laughs> well, exactly. So I, I thought I'll, the part of this challenge was you need to get onto the onto the um, rowing machine. Yeah. And I did four sets. of It was it, it was horrendous. But I tell you what, blew it away. Yeah. My fitness is really good. I was quite surprised. I'm staying off the big way. So as long as the bike's got oars, you're going to be fine. <laughs> so it's got a rowing, rowing machine handlebars. <laughs> Perhaps we said the handlebars quite loose. <laughs> yeah. So it's a big no, wheel. I not say that. Big wheel 85. One of my last ever rides, the guy who did my bike for me back in the day, yeah. my handlebars went forward, mm -hmm. going down a hill. 
Nice. Yes. Whoop. Yeah, it yeah. was awful. Well, my brother did have a bike break in half in him. Actually Oof. snapped. You know the Witchurch? You used to yeah, ride yeah, up a Witchurch yeah. in Bristol around there. Yeah. He went over, went over a jump and a bike snapped it off. And he came over the top of the hill thinking he's walking back. He's just walking the handlebars on the front wheel. Oh. The whole back of the bike disappeared between <laughs> his legs. Just a bit out on the, out, out, out on the track. Oh, dear. I think my dad says something along the lines of, oh dear, that's a shame. <laughs> no, uh, words to that effect. Yeah. <laughs> right, should we start the show properly then? We should do it. I'm just still gobsmacked about like you actually getting on the bike. Yeah, you know? well, that, that, that's, you're going to make the cover, I think. I will make the cover. Yeah. Let's talk about Dave Willett fancy leg movement. Jump. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw out some whips. Um, Walnut whips, that let, is. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 just throwing whips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to, there's obviously, it's been quiet over the Christmas period, really, you know, there's not a lot going on as such, and apart from the Supercross, obviously, well, we're going to hit that later in the show. Uh, first of all, we're just going to go back back a little while, a week or so, and there's a Steph uh, Jevon, Jevons, who, um, a female rider is going to um, ride around the world by herself. I know, it's a bold effort, isn't it, Which really? is just absolutely amazing. I think her... Uh, it starts sometime in May, March, May, sometime. I can't yeah. remember. She had her bike stolen. I know, and she she looked like from the pictures she's prepped it all up, ready, ready yeah. to go. Good choice for for the bike, really, because yeah. those, those bikes are relatively cheap to start off with. They're four four yeah. grand bike, but you know a, a, a little but dependable motor in there. But she's obviously all kitted up, taken some advice on that, got it all ready to go, and then some blokes had it away. March twenty seventh, she starts her uh, world trip. Yeah, we That's, all, I, just I you know to to do that, even as a group of you, would be just insane yeah but for a, a female rider by herself yeah I know. hats off you know well, fair play to you apart from the crash out obviously yeah keep the hat on <laughs> that's on <laughs> so is he, i think is, the only part she's not going to do is uh, antarctic because she can't get there yeah well that's fair enough isn't it, it's really? too expensive to actually go from mainland say greenland or whatever yeah to the next or iceland would it greenland it's antarctic's at the bottom is it antarctic? so you wouldn't go from bloody greenland which is at the top <laughs> Are you from geography? Antarctic's at the bottom. No, what's at the so top? Greenland up here. Yeah, what's at the top then? Arctic. You Ar sure? Yes. You sure it's not the other way around? Arctic Circle at the top, Antarctic at the bottom. All right, then. Well, she can't get to either of them, so the closest would be Greenland's from the bottom, from, from South 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 Africa down. Two. Yeah, that's Antarctic. Yeah. And there's well, only she, penguins and stuff down there. Yeah. So she can't. She's not going to do that, but she's going to do the rest of the main. Well, you wouldn't want to do it. I mean, riding around snow, it's not be good. Unless you have one of those snow bikes. Those snow bikes. We did a few pictures of those. Yeah, I'd like to have a go on those. They would yeah. be good, wouldn't it? But yeah. Anyway, um, she her son managed to get the bike back um, from found in the woods. Literally. Well, it sounded like somebody got in, stashed yeah. it somewhere, and then with a view to, with, with a view to, to come back. back. And I think it sounded like somebody was going to be waiting for them when they did come back for it. From I think there was yeah. a subtext that there might be a welcoming committee for the would be thieves. Yeah. Come, on, come and come and take it now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So fair play to uh, Steph and good luck. And we'll send we'll put a link on the bottom so you can. Uh, find her page and, and donate towards her charity she's riding around the world for her. It's just it's fair. And, you know, I can't get, you know, yeah. it is a really amazing trip to do by yourself. Definitely, definitely. Um, Kendra Dyker okay. recently broke his wrist. Yeah, I mean, I guess at this time of the year, it's sort of okay. He's got time for it to pull it yeah. back together well, for, 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 for March. I guess if he's got it pinned up and things like that. He's a big lump to land on his wrist, didn't he? <laughs> He speaks highly of you. He's a big lump to land on his wrist. He's a, he's a trained professional athlete. And you, you're not doing his PR anymore, are you? No. Ken, did I get a big lump riding for KTM? Well, he is. He's, what was he, 6'5"? He's a tall lad. That'll yeah. do. Big lump. Just because you lost the weight now. <laughs> no, as in big lump. <laughs> you can't make it sound any nicer no. if you're calling somebody a big lump. No, true. Is That's that why true. you're single? Well, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, you're not? No. Ooh, what was his name? <laughs> is that Jeff again, is it? No. Uh, no. Pete. Pete Dave. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Canada, as you say, I think he's got enough time to get it fixed. Um, well, they uh, do take a while to go, don't they? Yeah. They, they, they really. Mine, yeah. Mine's still still dicky from falling and off from he the Welsh. And could, he could be one of those riders who's broke his wrist a number of times. So yeah. how bad it is. is it, it's the scaphoid. If you bug it up the scaphoid, I think well, that's you the Well, you think it's end, only the first of... Um, we're only... Um, what, three months, 12 weeks away from... Yeah, from Qatar. And that yeah. would be when you're training and bike setting up. I mean, I, I, I guess in terms of the bike setup, he's running, riding the same bike and whatever, so there's not going to be too much setup. Yeah. But it'll be new bikes, I guess. So it, it's not a good time to be doing it, but it's better than breaking it once the season started. Because, you know, he's, he's, he's always up there towards the front. He's doing, doing really, really, really yeah. well. He will continue to do well. He's... I would think top five come the end of the year. I don't think he's going to... He's, he's one to beat Cairo, but he has... He did beat Cairo, and what? Valkenswadi beat yeah, him. Yeah. 
So, yeah, shame, shame to see he's got the injury, but I think he's got time to, to get it right. Okay. Um, and obviously, just before the Supercross kicked off, Ben LeMay again. He uh, used to ride the Brit Max's British Championship. Crashed and... Uh, yeah, he looked awful bash up, pieces, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Like nasty little yeah. sort of a, well, I don't he's know. got a habit of coming off big time though, Ben. Yeah, because be he was over here for a while, and then something screwed up on his on, on his visa. He couldn't yeah. stay, he couldn't to, he? No, he had to get out, and then he wouldn't let him back in. Yeah. So, but much the same. I think um, his whole season's just. Kane, Kane Lamont did the same. He screwed up yeah. his thing. I think when yeah. they come over here, they assume they can do it, and it's actually more complicated than it is to, yeah. to, 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 to do over here. But yeah, I hope he gets a bit better because I, I don't know that picture. Whether, whether it was a picture by somebody or whether whether it was a selfie that he, that he took and closed his eyes, but either way, he didn't look, he didn't look very very well. I was just wondering if he's like, it was it his missus who took the picture, or was it Ben pretending he was asleep going yeah. like that? Yeah. <laughs> having it up there's, there's quite a lot of what, what is that it's like all, all kinds of cables and things there isn't it yeah. I thought it was a set Sky. of <laughs> I thought it was a set of felt tip pens but actually <laughs> it looks like it, you know, there's some nasty cables there and stiff things stuck to you and yeah. they give you those awful gowns don't they in the hospital the ones that they tie up at the back yeah it's like if it's about the front it'd be it, quite fun <laughs> it would be like an hour it's like last chicken in the shop wouldn't it but they always like, you know, it's bad enough I'm ill, and now you've dressed me in a dress yeah. with buttons at the back, so my bum's hanging out the back. It's not good. No, good, so good. Um, all the best to Ben. I would imagine he's going to, if he does make a comeback for the sometime this year, uh, but his injuries were quite bad, so eye yeah. socket and wrist and all sorts. Hmm. But, um, oh, new mag. New mag. Uh, hang tomorrow. on, hang on. Out tomorrow. Very nice. Oh, oh, very nice. Uh, no, that's, yeah, what's inside it? There DJ Link. Uh, Mr. Anstey on the front, looking Anstey fresh on the, on the new yeah. bike at Dixon um, Real nice Yamaha. No, uh, no monster involvement for the Steve this year. Um, gone in separate ways with his main sponsor. Well, not separate ways. I guess he's gone, but bike it have already always been there. But yeah. uh, really, really good shot on there. It was actually nearly dark when you were doing that shoot, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, Adam look, took look, it. Yeah, look, looking good, good there. Bit of a carbon well, fiber helmet going on. The, the, this this month, which is great, January obviously being the start of the new, the year. We've actually... Uh, Which is the best time for this type of product, let's say. Face it. Hang on a second. Released with the mag, an A2 wall planner. Which and the, it's got all the GP a day, Supercross, British Championship, and all sorts on there. When the magazine's out. When the, the magazine's drone, out. I think there was, also, there was also an authentic authentic coffee stain actually on, on there. Yeah, down the bottom there. Yeah, down, down the bottom in the corner. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, you can you can plan when the Supercross, the Supercross is on, so when the Grand Prix are on, put on your own racing... Um, yeah, really, really useful. On the back, there's a uh, poster of... Uh, Tommy. Tommy there. Hang on a second. Young Tommy. That's it. So Mr. Hurlings could use that as a dartboard. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, uh, I guess, I mean, it would be nice. I think some people have got it this way around. You could buy two mags and have the poster and the, uh, and the, f- and yeah. and the wall planner. But wall planner... No, I, I would imagine that the wall planner would look nice in your garage or yeah, on yeah. your truck. Yeah, you're not going to get up in the living room because the living room, the no. missus is going to go, what, 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 what's that up there? But put it, it in a frame. You could, no, you need to write You can't put it in a frame. Because you can put all your, put all your dates and, and as I say, oh, it's got the mag, the new issue when the mag's out and the GPs, Supercross, British Championships and yeah. there's a load of other stuff on there as well. Yeah, it would be like a wall planner with proper stickers. You could put you book your holidays in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty you're self-employed. Cool. You could book your own holidays and approve it yourself, couldn't you? You, you could do, you could do <laughs> I that could yourself. Do that. I could do Holiday that. planner too, like yeah. the Sasco one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's a good... So the plenty of other, plenty of other stuff in, 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 in the mag there. We've done uh, we've done a little video on the Instagram, which we'll be play, playing now, hopefully yeah. get it up there, which gives yeah. a bit brief idea of what, what's in there. But really good looking mag this month. Plenty of, plenty of stuff in there. Um, and it's a good good start to the season. Bit of a bit of a rundown of things. What, what's coming ahead? Um, some good real world stuff on there. Yeah, like it's a cracking lead. It's a cracking lead. But and uh, obviously, Anst, little Anstey on the front. Well, not so big. <laughs> not so little Anstey anymore. Little Anstey. You've been in the showers with him again now. <laughs> it was a cold day, wasn't it? So the all issues are obviously based around New Britannia. New Year, fresh riders uh, for Britain's best racers. Mm. There you go. So that's yes. on sale tomorrow. If you're obviously a subscriber, you should have it in the post today. Yeah, I mean, I think the one this year, the, 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 the G, in terms of the GPs, I don't think there's going to be an awful lot of change. I hate to, hate to say it, but the, the, the look of the GPs, I wouldn't. I put it in a, on a low down of the year. I can't see there being any. If, ever, if, if it goes according to plan, there's no injuries. Okay. We're going to get a result exactly right, the same well, at the end of the year. Well, well, uh, we're, we're going to run the. Uh, no, actually, we go straight into it. The predictions, what, yeah. what I did over Christmas, that was online. Yeah. And you were saying about um, changes uh, to yeah. the championship winners. 
the, the difficulty they've got, and said it, it's nothing that Ustream kind of kind of helped, is is the fact that the the, the GP series is kind of frozen yeah. by the dominance of Hurlings and and, and Kai Rowley. Yeah. The fact is, nobody will touch Hurlings this year no. unless he picks up an injury. Picks okay, that's, an injury, our first then that's, fine. that's our first prediction. Then, yeah, uh, Jeffrey Hurlings goes unbeaten. I think he can do. He's unlucky that uh, lucky this year, and I think yeah. they've dropped they've dropped the um, the. The mixed final, the super yeah. final. So there's nothing like that to mess it up. Yeah. There's nobody that comes close to him. You know, no. if you, you know, you look at look at how well he's doing. There's there's nobody there that's come up in into the into the picture that can do, do anything to come any close to him. They're just okay. not fast enough. So you know. So that's gonna... first one then. Out of the seven, we'll we'll, we'll mention. Uh, her Instagram beaten. I think yeah. I think so. I think it'll be very difficult. I don't think you get very long odds on that one. No. no. Uh, interesting one. Obviously, with the changes to the Maxis this year, Brock Ryder's coming in, Jake and Sean and everyone. I think Mystic Meg, who actually did this prediction for us. <laughs> Does it look very much like Mystic Ray with a headscarf on? <laughs> yeah, hello, yeah. And uh, Sean Simpson to win the Maxis British Championship, MX1. Yeah, I think that's, that's yeah. that, he stands a strong strong chance of doing that, really. Yeah. You know, he'll, he's, with, a, with a good team there, he'll get on with it. Um, yeah, I think... That, there's going to be some competition there this year, which is good for the good, Jake, for, good for the Elliot. British. Mattis, no, no, no Mattis, Mattis, no, yeah, nah, we've talked about this. Yeah, he's yeah. going going down the class, which is yeah. a really curious thing to do, and must have the two fifty guys seriously hacked off, mustn't yeah. it? Really? Well, it was, you know, you, you look at it, you say Brian Nev, yeah, you know, and then Mattis drops back down. You think, oh, oh, and Jason Dugan's riding MX two as well. I haven't seen Dugan's been on and off so so yeah. so so much recently. But does he ride the MX two a lot better than the MX one? Well, we wait wait to wait to see. But uh, I, I think in in MX two, uh, I don't know whether we're coming to that. But the M MX two, they'll be hard pushed to, to to beat Mattis. You know, he, he would have had a championship this year if weren't if weren't for his injury. Sorry, Christian, but I think that's probably you know you could see that he was going really well. Yeah. Uh, but you've got to be in it to win it. He didn't win it this year. Christian did, and hopefully Christian comes back ne next next year or this year strong. But there's a lot lot of good competition in, a, in in MX1 now. Okay, well that's our prediction then. Uh, Sean to win the MX1. Yep. Well, it's your uh, prediction, in fact. My prediction. Yeah, no, it's my prediction. Yeah. Then. Uh, Mystic Meg. Yeah. <laughs> Mystic Meg is uh, it? It's team. A... Right. The third prediction is Team USA to lose out again to Belgium in Latvia. The MX, yeah, the yeah I think that is bold because if Villapoto's well, in it this year, yeah, I think I'm not so sure because Vill Villapoto with, with, within that mix, I, I, I think. And if Stewart has a good outdoor season, just imagine if they if they get Villapoto and Stewart and one other, you know, who's going to be riding the, doing the, the MX MX2 ride on there. I think you know this, this year w was good, and they did it without without Desal in that in that final one. But if Filippo's in in that mix and maybe get Stewart back in there, that's going to be a super strong team. I think you might eat your words on that one. Come on, me, it's Mr. Meg. <laughs> well, Meg, <laughs> whoever you may be. <laughs> yeah, so Team USA to lose out of Belgium again. No, I think you're wrong on that one. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want an opinion. Like, don't <laughs> ask. <laughs> Tommy Searle, the fourth one. Tommy Searle to win at least two GPs in 2014. Well, Tommy hasn't done it that done so far. Um, and who would, have, who would have thought that Sean would have done it before him? Yeah. Um, I think Tom, Tommy could do with some of these decent results this year. He needs, uh, I think, to be honest with you, you know, what we've, what we've been told and what you hear around the paddock and stuff like that, he's a pretty highly paid rider in the GPs. Um, yeah. And you've got to perform. It's, it's no good keep coming six, six, sevenths yeah. and stuff like that. And that's why I couldn't understand last year when he had the chance to be British champion. You know, we we talked about it a number of times, yeah. but he would have had a British championship to to, to carry on from this year. Yeah. He's still got the possibility of doing it this year. I know it's a French team and it would be difficult, but it's not impossible for for him to have done it. So yeah, I hope he gets some results this year. We want to see as many British riders towards the top end of the GP as possible. However. He's got to step up. You know, there are yeah. other people come, come, coming into it. I think Rattray will, will, will come in quite strong. I think Rattray has, has, a, has a chance of rattling a cage of a, quite a few people there. As, as for Tommy, has he, has he trained to take himself to that, net, that level to, to win? I'm well, not, you know, there's I'm a whole so new sure. batch of riders, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. So, Tommy to win two GPs? Yeah, hope, 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 I hope, hope it's does. more than that, yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, the fifth one then is, well... Wow. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much risky, probably. risky one. This one, yeah. This Crowley to win the MX One World Championship again. Yeah, I think it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. He's, he's again yeah. at another level. He's not quite so separated from from the rest as uh, Hurlings is in MX Two, 
But then again, I don't he, think he necessarily tries. Yeah, he, he doesn't need to yeah. set out the, the the massive things. Hurlings is young and wants to prove everything. Kai Wade just he's just focusing on those getting those those championships in. Yeah. Um, although you know he does attract attract some you know other, other riders when they speak, speak to him about it. And what what's he proving by just having more and more world champions? He is the best motocross rider in the world. Why is he not taking on taking on another, another championship? Yes, he'll get ten titles, but we've talked about this before. He should be okay for it this year. Next year. With Hurlings, be a bit of a fight, could be okay. But once Hurlings gets gets together with that MX1 bike, then that 10th title might be the tricky one to get. It's the 10th one, yeah. We've said that, we've sort of worked it out. And mm. you think, Hurlings may be not the first year. Yeah. It's the second 14 year. 14 he's okay for, 15 he's learning the ropes. It's yeah. the it's the 16, 16 uh, yeah. Yeah, 2016 season, which will be a... Because he's going to be three years older. Yeah. Hurlings is going to be three years stronger and fresh yeah. Yeah. in MX1. Kai on and the way. whoever Kai, else is there potentially Kai yeah. on the way down and Hurling's on the, on the, on, on the way up yeah. in terms of fitness saying that Stefan Everts did, was doing it when he was 36 a different time though it must be, must yeah. be said and the, and the fitness levels now you, to, to, to actually work those bikes I don't, I, I don't know I think the 10th title would be incredible for him to get and it'd be yeah. really hard for him to get yeah he could be uh... but anyway he's got to go for getting number, number 8 and 9 before that <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> another one we'll go back to some of the Brits um, Natalie Kane to win the Women's World Motocross Championship yeah, I think she can do it. I think she can do it. Yeah, she's stepping it up, stepping it really up this year. This year. Uh, Kiara was, was was good this year, but she could, she was proved that you could you could beat her. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I think with some. I think good she's backing. fitter. And she's going in with some confidence. She's had good yeah. good results this year. She's on a good boy, bike, strong team. Um, she's getting more support from from I think the the the, the British uh, fans are getting behind her more yeah. because people like people to see people doing yeah. well. So yeah, Natalie, I think I think can do it. Yeah, I think so. Hard work because Fontanese is, is is consistently oh, yeah. good, but yeah. she's beatable. She is beatable. Yeah. I think I've to be honest with you, you know, uh, Fontanese has always been good on her fitness. Yeah, uh, but I think Natalie's gradually getting to grips with it. Oh yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you look say t two two years ago, where where, where Natalie was in, in in terms of her, her riding and her fitness, yeah, she has has stepped things up and her results have gone um, gone with it. You know, the, the, the training and and, and yeah. the, the discipline that goes with the training has its results. That's you know that's why in the in, in the Supercross, you know, you see the guys who are working so hard and uh, you know get get the results yeah, from it. Definitely. We'll come on to that later on, but yeah. training is key. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the final prediction uh, for two thousand and. <laughs> 14 yeah this is this is I, well uh, it's not daft anyway int introduce your grand okay. idea mystic Meg's we've, we've spoke about this we, we spoke about it in the mag we spoke about it on the shows before we've spoke online in the press room everywhere somewhere along the line i said to 2015 but the fim will change the style of the motocross of nations to has the format is now Right, and your idea being that it goes to more of a Ryder Cup type scenario. Now, I guess there are a proportion of non-golf fans who might not know the yeah. Ryder Cup. So, so basically, the Ryder Cup is uh, Europe against the USA. Yeah, rest, 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 rest of the world, world type against yeah. the USA. I yeah. guess yeah. it would. No, it's, I think it's just Europe. But in, in terms of motocross, yeah. then it yeah. would be that that kind of thing. Well, it would, you would have to probably split it into three or four areas: be USA, Europe, and maybe the free areas: South Africa, Australia, that sort of. Hmm. Zone. So you're actually just making sure you get the best, I the, think best the, sport, of the, the best of the best. You know, I think yeah, I think the sport needs to change because you can sell it as a better package because you get every every fantastic rider there, rather than just a select three or four from each country. I think there'll be a huge amount of opposition to changing that format because there'll be so many Do people saying, "Oh, the grand tradition is all you know, yeah, all but, nations, all kinds of things." But yeah, we've got to move it on. Yeah. And it's been like this now for what I don't know, but it would be nice to see more than more than three AMA riders over here because they've got a depth. But also, depth there's of a lot of Euros there. that don't do it either. Yeah, they can get the chance to get yeah. picked with the team. If you're going to only pick three, yeah. Uh, and uh, whilst there are still lesser riders from from nations, the that, Aussie guys, yeah, yeah. As in, as you know, although it's very nice for say the Israeli team to be at the nations, the standard of the riding doesn't necessarily justify being at such a yeah. such a, such a big event. So yes, it's you know, and if it, I, I got picked, you'd want you'd want to ride it. Not saying I'm from Israel because that, that I just can't get that. that I tried, you know, uh, but do you want to see the the lesser riders that that type of event? You don't. I'd do rather you, you see, see say, an example being uh, Josh Grant, Michael Essie, yeah, racing against the Euros, and I would yeah, some definitely. guy from 
Guadalajara. Yeah, which isn't technically a place. <laughs> Do you mean Guatemala or no. Guadalajara? In one's Mexico. A, yeah, one's a city and one's a country. Yet again, your geography, not concentrating in geography, hasn't yeah, worked. A plus in geography. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Unless it was geography around Pill. <laughs> Where's the road out? Where's the road in? in? It's the same one. Thanks. No, but um, I can see it going that way. Yeah, well... That's that's kind of, kind of watch that, so space. that's basically our predictions for 2014, or my predictions, or Mystic Men. So the original <laughs> title for the, the, the piece was uh, Seven Predictions That Could Bite Us in the Ass by the End of 2014. And yeah, it's a long title, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but and, I, uh, and now if it's all wrong, you can blame Mystic Men. Yeah, just blame Mystic Men. There's at least two of them right, uh, right that are going to happen in there. Okay, we're going to... Call it a quit there. If we're going to go to the uh, brand new four other, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, welcome back. Cracking uh, advert. Good advert. I thought actually, the really, really strange, but it brought to mind the, the glasses. I can see. <laughs> it brought to mind all the husky adverts because husky are doing an awful lot of referring the, the old, old form, footage yeah. to the to the new stuff, which works really well. And I thought that was going on on the same line. It is good to see just how much things have things have progressed. Also, whenever you see the old stuff. How double hard are those people to be riding those bikes? Yeah. They can't have handled at all, can they, really? It was just like sort of a, a road bike with some extra long shock absorbers on. Yeah. Must have been hard to ride ride those yeah. then, but compared to what you've got now. Obviously, the speeds are there, but you just think, you're doing it on a rugby shirt and some leather trousers and some, and, and some like, over-length Oof. Dr. Martins. Oh, man. Yeah. Fair play. It's nice, another nice habit by... Uh, yeah. Definitely, though, all the brands, Fox, uh, for One Industries, all of them are all stepping that again with the adverts. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Yeah. It shows like us, we are like ours, we can actually show them. Yeah, definitely. There are other shows. There are other shows. There are other shows, but I don't that think... That tried. Mm, yes. But we're not going to mention them. No. Imitation <laughs> is the best form of flattery. Exactly. And, and we're delighted to see other people having a, having a go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, What's on your list, then? What's on your list? Anaheim. Anaheim. What a absolute corker of a race what a brilliant start to the season yeah I mean they, they always do it as, a, as the perfect storm I went in 05 it was meant to be the perfect storm but it was an actual storm that one that had everything you wanted in, in, in a race a rookie, a rookie win all the drama all yeah. the people that should have done well did well apart from Tomac what happened to Tomac? He crashed, didn't he? And he didn't go out, did he? Wow. I mean, you know, to have been one of the ones on, 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 the, on that really dull press conference when they, they looked so uninterested oh, they need, to be Jesus, there. Yes, they needed. The only yeah. one who was a little bit sparky was um, Roxon. Yeah, Roxon was okay. Yeah. And they also said, you're a bit of a knockabout fun guy. And, yeah. and, and they said it a bit too often. I was like, hang on a second, he's a serious athlete, actually. Yeah, and actually, he went yeah. out and kicked ass. So yeah. a knockabout fun guy. Yeah. Kicked ass, it. but it was really interesting as well. When they introduced, they did a, quite a long piece of introduce of uh, interviewing uh, Villapoto, uh, overlooking the fact he was surrounded by the Monster Girls. So it's him there and and two Monster Girls midriffs either side either side belly of his button. head. Yeah, belly button either side In of his ears. <laughs> Should have turned around. And got, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Tongue effect. <laughs> 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 but no, the actual racing itself, rather, rather than the press conference, is absolutely su right. superb. Well, we're, as we're talking now, we're, we'll play the. We'll talk about the lights first, and we'll play that video as we go. What, um, what? Jason no, Anderson. Oh, oh, yeah. It's not called the lights anymore. It's just, <laughs> isn't it? No. What's it called? The two fifty. Two fifty class. Oh, God. <laughs> the, the lights. I was thinking, oh, well, they're fine. <laughs> Can I play them? <laughs> Jason Anderson. Superb, you know, really good, good, good to see. I mean, obviously, KTM must be must be delighted the result. I think Ferris did okay, didn't he? For, for, for first stab, he came away with an, an okay result. Well, but, he didn't get in the top ten, did he? Um, but but and Anderson himself, that pass on that on that last part of the race, that was superb. Yeah. Sealy should have should have not not should have actually been tight and make sure he protected. It, I the think corner. he just went. 
in his, he was in his head, he's won. Yeah, I think so. But they're going, you know, going against each other through, throughout the whole race. And in that split second, there were those lappers there. He, he, he wasn't keeping it tight, didn't keep the tight line. And in, in his second, Anderson got, Anderson got through. And by the time he realised it, he had the front wheel in front of him. And by that point, he could not fight it back. He gave him a, it was, it wasn't, he said it was a risky pass, but I don't think it was a bad pass. I think it was just a, just a bit, bit of body English. I'm through here, mate, and you can't do anything about it. And, and, he, and, and yeah. it had gone. Superb. Wilson. Hmm. Hmm. But he, 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 did, ri- he was had, riding injured, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. So he had a bit of an off he's, midweek. He's always riding injured. It's yeah. so frustrating. He should be, should be in there to do it. What did he come away with in the, in the end? Fourth. Which is yeah. not too bad. Yeah, but good, good to see Zach there. I mean, Zach, Zach and Wilson were the ones we sort of had, had picked over the ones we knew would be riding, riding that coast. Yeah. Um, I, I think Malcolm Stewart was kind of unlucky. He seemed to be, seemed to be going, going well. He did well in the, um, in, in the, in the practicing. It's a though, isn't it? He's the boy, hmm. I think. Possibly, but who, who knows? Do you mean Jason Aslan could, could be the one? Perhaps he's, he's got enough in his, in his tank to actually follow it through the whole year. Yeah, he's quite an aggressive rider. Yeah, Good definitely. Rider, solid rider. Yeah, many people would have would have would have backed out on that pass, and that was that was a pass for the win, and exactly what you exactly what you want. But yeah. great great start to the se- season on that one. Uh, get... Yeah, again pro circuit. Well, close enough, but but no no cigar really. Darren Durham came away as seventh, so I guess as a team they've come done done re- relative, well, relatively yeah, well, well, well. But just now and considering pro circuit guys used to dominate, you know there'd be three of them on the on the box each time round. That that time has kind of gone, hasn't it? Yeah. Really, you know, it's, it's going to be a mix between the Geico boys the pro pro circuit and, and the KTMs in there. That's good what you need. You don't need that dominance. You want to know when you watch it, you don't know who's going to win. And if that's going to continue all the way through through the season, the two fifty well, classes. You only got to look at that top top seven or eight. Yeah. You you can't really pick a winner. I can yet. see Stuart winning in um yeah. what do they call him Mookie? Don't and know. I can understand Malky because his name's Malcolm, but not don't Mookie. Know. No, I don't know. Anyway. Mookie Mookie for a win at some point in this yeah. perhaps I Mystic so. Meg coming <laughs> 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 the spirit oh, of Meg. Right, so 450s. 450s. It's just superb for Roxham. When you sent out, you'd send out a thing in a week asking for who was going to win the, win the 450s. Now, I have to say this. It sounds like I'm backtracking up, but I thought you meant the overall come the end, end of the year. So yeah. I was going for come the end of the, uh, uh, end of the season. But I had hey, to say... So yeah, backtracking. Realistically, before Christmas, I did say I think Roxham is going, is, is going to do well this, this year. And he just rode a superb race. Sure, it was he, quick then. Stuart was Stuart was quick, yeah, definitely. I thought I've watched the race a few times now because I'm sad like that. Yeah, and I thought Roxham obviously he was quick. He, he raced at that same pace all the way through. Yeah, yeah. But he, and, and when when Filippoto was out in front, he didn't let Villapoto no. go. He was keeping the same pace. Yeah. Then they got the same trainer. Now is that a mistake uh, from from that from Filippoto's point point of view to actually share a trainer from somebody who's who's who well? I would think probably he's thinking thing. thinking well, not now. The next big thing is the big next thing. Big but thing. Interesting. I thought the fact that Stewart lost it in the whoops. He, he he crashed in the whoops in practice and then didn't finish practice off. And also, when was looking through Race Rex's website, the two pictures they had of him were him wandering up and down, l- looking at the whoops. And it's almost self fulfilling prophe- prophecy. The bit he actually gets photographed looking he at. He was unlucky though; it just come out. Didn't it, it swapped just... swapped out on there. But all, you also saw when you saw the pictures of it just how big those whoops are. You you it, we'll play you, the crash now as we talk. You can't. Un- underestimate just how hard that is to do it because when you go to the Supercross, they tend to they get the work, the um, dirt works people to build a set of works outside the stadium yeah. because you're not going to go down on the thing. But normal punters can't go down there. Yeah. Just to see just how, how big they are, they are. and yeah. they're about a meter high. Yeah. So if you get it wrong, you are going down and you're going down big time. Yeah. He was lucky because he went. Uh, Emig said the same thing. And come, I think it was Carl Michael as well. Went past the end, the final whoop. Yeah. So he sort of. Slid out, yeah, rather that was than good. just gone all over. Oh yeah, the I mean, shop. If, he'd, if he'd done it in the middle of it, then he'd yeah. slammed in, and the bike was. Did yeah. you see the bike took out a, a, a cameraman as well? Cameraman, yeah, yeah, because I guess a bit like yourself, we've been filming through that, and I don't actually see. You can't see it's too quick coming, yeah. coming into the side, but yeah. so unlucky, he was going really They're well. They're pretty strict over there as well, where you can stand. So yeah, well, you know, but there were a lot of people in in in, in that area. Yeah. Um, I, thought, you know, I made some notes on it when I was, when I was looking at it earlier on this afternoon. Roxon was just running the pace of that. Dungey was running a consistent race. He was there or thereabouts, and that's what he does I really well. I think Dungey well. will win some races this year. What I, what I did think is that he was slow to pass, and he's always that. He doesn't get the job done, does Emig he? said the same. He said that he follows the riders for too long. There's not enough aggression there. Yeah. Stuart, well, he could pass that person. Yeah, Stuart comes, comes oh, in, gets up behind him, yeah. and, he, and he's round. Yeah. And you thought there was going to be a bit of a tussle with Reed. got in a position, and he was out and round, and blocked him off, and that's yeah. it, me, me, me yeah. passed. Um, Barsha, well, you know, he didn't get such a good start and had to work his way, way through. Grant went well for a while. Um, Tickle? No, thanks. <laughs> 
Um, I did notice also, and I just wonder whether it's the case. Is, is Villapoto running a recluse clutch? Because that bike was was still going when he picked it up. Mm. And I just wonder they're coming in there more more and more with those four yeah. fifties. They're they're hard to start. He, when he when he did go down on, on lot, lap nine, and again they said it on the on on the commentary. He, he's washed out, and that, that actually off from Villapoto is a very common off for Villapoto. He often falls off like that in that he type did last of corner. Year, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And it, and they were saying it's because he runs his um, his suspension so hard for the for the big hits on that in that kind of situation. Then it, it it's not it's Just not it's out. not given and, and slides yeah. out. But I say the engine didn't go, so it makes me think there must be an, probably an auto clutch on there. He got going and got back there, but you know your your, Reed. your rhythm has gone. Reed's so, how to say, really superb. Good. You know, when, yeah. he, when he saw the pictures... Well, Again, he, thought, he didn't do anything unbelievably fantastic. No, no. But he rode that consistent race. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, he was there. decent pace. He didn't look... The, I'm just, you know, when he saw him in the press conference and on, on, on the bike, you know, he wasn't anything like as lean as, uh, as, as Stuart was. Of course, but, Stuart lost a lot of weight, didn't he? Yeah, yeah really, really so. But... Yeah. Reed showed his class, on, you know. Obviously, is is li liking that bike and those discount tires. Well, they might be cheap, but wow, they they well, hopped up real good. Discount tires are uh, uh, they were sponsoring the was it the whole show award or something? No, well, no progressive mm -hmm. rider or something like that. Pass. Yeah, I think it was a pass or something. because, yeah, because some... the whole shot is Nuclear Cowboys, yeah. which is another Feld Feld product. Yeah. There? But there, there was something else they were they were they were sponsoring. But yeah, he was really really good. He was, yeah. but you know, when people came to go past him, he didn't offer an awful lot. But there again, it's the first round, and actually, he did say on the thing, and you know, this like first round shit happens, and and you can see how we go. Oh, you used to conference you shouldn't be saying that um but he's absolutely right and and for um for, for the likes of stewart he's gonna be hard to get hard to get things back yeah. because he came away with what did he what was the final results he actually came stewart came, came third. Third. away with third no sorry no, stewart didn't come third sure he came, away, did, came he away with seven yeah but he didn't, he didn't get anything did he because he didn't finish the race right well, in that in that case, he's paying catch up all the well. He has actually won the championship on on, on a year when he when he didn't score points at, at the first round, so it can happen. But that's hard. But that, work. That, you've got you've got to be there, and you've got to be relying then on mistakes from the rest rest, rest of the others. And injury free. And, and if you look at who's at the, at the at the at the top there, one of the ones that didn't get much much. Um, so it's Brayton. Brayton came out with a cracking result yeah. in there. So six, yeah. six on that one. He's a he's a bit of an under under the uh, under the wire. And I thought Alessi rode well. Yeah, but you see. It, his, his heat race, he anticipated absolutely fantastically and shot yeah. out. Yeah. And he was he was like a millisecond early and jammed his gate. Yeah. And when does Alessi not not get the whole shot? He would have been flying out of there. He, he would have been. Uh, it was a really noticeable yeah. clunk, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh. Yeah, it was a big hit on the gate. Yeah. yeah. But Roxon just absolutely superb. He looked really really chuffed on, 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 that, on that one nice bit when he went into crowd throughout throughout his goggles and it was just like yeah he must have been so stoked. What what a what a career that guy's that guy's got yeah absolutely it's, wonderful and ktm came away with the old dungy was there got in, in into second place somebody mentioned on facebook can't wait to see him back in mx1 in europe <laughs> he's not he's coming, 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 coming back, back no. ever <laughs> what would be the point? he gets paid millions of dollars yeah beautiful sunshine yep hot chicks absolutely as many as he can eat a factory bike coming out of his is anything yeah. he wants sponsorship products he's living the life he's fooling I'm, on I lives mean, in california loves his surfing yeah and, i'll come know, back to europe i in did this like the fact that beforehand every posting pictures of, of themselves you know training hard or something like that roxon's doing some lunging with his mates <laughs> on a suburban street isn't yeah it? he's yeah, just brilliant. fooling around but it's very very clever because yeah. what he's doing it's head game isn't it yeah yeah what he's doing apart from that yeah. he's probably working his nuts off oh god yeah do you know what i mean yeah. To win that first race is just uh But what I do love about the format, which is, you know, so different to uh, to, to, to motocross, that's, tw that's 20 laps to do it. It's so good. And you, and you notice that everybody is pumped for it. The crowd are up for it. There's excitement. They're on their feet all the, all the yeah. way through it. The commentators can keep up their level of excitement. The commentary was superb, yeah. really good. The new I thought good. they were changing them, but they, they no. I thought those guys did an absolute... Yeah, Brilliant and, and the Fox again. coverage was good. Yeah. That was re really good. Yeah. They didn't take too long before cutting back to the action when yeah. they did the, the passes. The new girl who was doing the um, interviewing was good. Seemed, but seemed they to didn't, know stuff. But they didn't give her a headset, though, did they? No, so they weren't necessarily talking to her, which I think is probably a little bit a little bit distracting. But she, I no, Also, I think it's probably a little bit early on her part because she yeah. probably wouldn't know, unless she was a proper motocross yeah. fan, she probably wouldn't know the ins and outs. Like Erin Bates, she knew yeah. everything. Yeah, but I, I just think that the format works so well for just mass en entertainment in a way that um, GPs can never work that well because you can't maintain. You know that race. What, what Jessica is? Taft is it? Or yeah, something something yeah. like that. Part, part of the, uh, the new new team. Jenny Taft. 
No, Jenny Taft. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, did a yeah. did a did a cracking job, but yeah. just the, the coverage hot. was superb. Was hot. Haven't seen the, the whole of the two fifty eight straight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, is she on Plenty of Fish or something? Look her up. Just say hey, she's there. I don't think she's having any difficulty for dates, to be honest. You never know. Well, all right. <laughs> Quick search there. I'm over there on the... Hello, ladies. I'm free. Hello. Mm. Tafty. Perhaps if you could just <laughs> drop her a little, little, little uh, PM saying, I'm over for a period of time. Uh, got any English in you? <laughs> Would you like <laughs> some? <laughs> oh. oh, dear. <laughs> but no, absolutely cr- cr- cracking race. A really, really good show. Interestingly, they, they said on um, when I was re- reading about it that the track builders deliberately build the track out not quite so extreme on the, f- on, on the first time out. <laughs> Look at that track. That's not so extreme. That's no, it's, it's quite a decent you know, track. You wouldn't want to do it for any more than the, tw- the, the, the 20 laps. But, yeah. you know, that way. It's good. the lack of concentration. If you miss just some, you're yeah, mess. Absolutely. You see them going over, skipping over the top of those uh, those jumps. They make it look so easy, yeah. and you know, even just to do two of those bloody jumps. Okay, so that's a good good start to 2014 Supercross. Yeah. Um, can't can't wait for the next. So the next much one. more to to come. There's so many different stories and twists and turns. And I think there's going to be a lot of different winners. Yeah, I don't I think, think so. I don't think Villapoto is going to have it, have his own no. way. I think he stands, still stands a strong chance of, of, of coming away with a championship, yeah. having pulled out, uh, pulled a, a fourth out of the bag on, on, on that one. Then that's nothing particularly to worry about. And it is always those at the first one. We are going to get um, some strange results, I think. Yeah, I think so. You can't win at Anaheim one, but you can lose it. And I think probably Stewart has lost it from that. From from from, from that. I really one. hope not because he was quick. Yeah. But he looked gut- he looked gutted, didn't he? Really? Yeah. yeah. He, he tried to get going as well, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And the bike was just uh, picture, mashed. Put the picture on, the, on the site. And, uh... Yeah. Phoenix this week then. Mm. Again, you know, it's, we don't know. You can call who you want. And I'm gonna yeah. be, actually gonna I'm gonna go through the um, the predictions that uh, one we did two two lots of prediction. One was from the industry. Yep. So you got it right or close enough? I don't think anyone did. I got Dungey in second. Yeah, <laughs> I, got I got Roxon and Dungey, I think, and Stuart. But yeah, but um, they might let me down. I the think. fans, the Facebook fans, um, there was a load. Of, I, I, I swear, I seen there was one on there. Rocks and Dungey read. Nice. So if well, you've got it, you've won t-shirts and stickers. So fair not, play. not these because they've stuck to the wall. No, these are stuck to the wall. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Talking was, of which, competition winner has he come forward for that one yet? Nope. Is it gone 28 days yet? It's got to, got to have done. It was before Christmas. I think we could re-enter the competition to one Giselle's shirt. Mm, we'll wait, we'll leave, wait no, another week or so. Has he worn it? Does it smell of no, genuine brand clement? Bra- brand new out of the package. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. But yeah, so um, again, we'll run it again this week. Uh, fans' predictions uh, on Facebook, because that was, um, yeah. So. But it's good if you can't predict it. I think that that's superb. God, yeah. Yeah, we don't yeah, want you to know, be when, we, when we when we go to the GPs, unfortunately, we, it is going to be the two, mm. the top two. Sky really hurting, Sky really hurting, Sterling Sky really, Sky really hurting. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much the muchness, but um, the Supercross has its, it has it in. It may go into that, it may go that direction. The interesting thing in well, this one, if, if there is a number of different winners each each week, the one that tends to do well in that scenario is Dungey. Because he's there or thereabouts on the, on the podium each time. And on, on, when he's got his titles, mm. he might not necessarily won all of them, but because he's got sort of consistent Jim points. Like yeah, yeah. He's what he's, ACL he's ACL, done, isn't he? Yeah. And yeah. Tedesco came in. Well, Tedesco was meant to be doing some training with them, and all of a sudden he gets off at a ride and he's doing it, but went down early in the thing. And It's not on that pace, though. Uh, no, perhaps not. But there again, he's only had a, he's only had like three weeks to get ready because it's only when Millsaps got injured he was actually going to be riding. He wasn't intending to be riding. No. So I guess he's just filling in to put somebody on the bike, which makes sense if you've got yeah, one yeah. prepared. Yeah. But yeah, Millsaps would have been would have been good in that. Yeah. Okay, so that's our uh, first show for what, 2014, done and dusted. Lots to talk about. Lots of Supercross. Lots of bits and bobs. There'll be more news next week, I would imagine. There's lots lots of stuff happening this week. Uh, in the next few weeks, we'll have in, we'll do in, we are actually doing. We'll have in, we'll do in. <laughs> what do you say, man? Put your teeth back in. <laughs> we're, we're actually going to the US and we're going to do two shows from America. When Mr. Chuss says we, he firmly means I am going to the US because <laughs> Chalice is not going. This is a Chussy only trip and he's catching up with his part time lover, Stuart Flockhart. <laughs> Over in the states, yes, yeah, it's a so love. So love that they're not. Stu will be in that position. Actually, we're yeah, going to do the show. Slightly taller, actually. We're going to do the show by the swimming pool. 
like I'm interested. In my speedos. It's just, you know, we'll all be at home. I'm keeping it keeping it real with the fans. You're jetting around the world, you git. Yeah. You're going to surprise me and send me a ticket, aren't you? No. Uh, no. You never know. <laughs> you, you and Flockhart fall in the bloody pool. Yeah, we did last time. Can you do it for the hot tub? In, a, in an entirely in an entirely heterosexual way. <laughs> Actually, we could. Hot tub time machine. We could do it from the hot tub with two, two hot monster girls either side, couldn't we? Now, that would be good. It's good, but it's it's <laughs> firmly in your head, isn't it, really? <laughs> two, two of the cleaners from the condominium. That'll be fine. Girls can sit in here. See, see, see. But yeah, well, good luck. Good luck on that idea. But well, you've got uh, Diana Dahlgren's um, details. Perhaps give her a, give her a call. Say how she'll yeah. turn up. IDD. Bring How's the, it going? Bring bring the matey, so to speak. <laughs> it's mine. I'll wash it as fast as I like. <laughs> <laughs> a little matey thing. Ah. <laughs> little sailor, wouldn't it? <laughs> what, what? I don't do that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you'd be fine blocked on yes. Diana Dahlgren. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Every post I reply. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to think you don't like me, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> I've called you 57. So times. is that next? Is that next week? No, you're, you're week off. After. Oh, so. I'll, I'll just have to deputise for Stuart in the meantime. Yeah, so your final Got show... your number, Flockhart. It's your final show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom lip going... Because the original plan for this year, we were going to do it once a month. There's just, there's just so, much, much. so much quality this side of the desk. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we can't deprive the public, can we, really? No. Yeah. No. But uh, there's, there's no. a few changes happening in the next few weeks, obviously, but we can't say too much. But... Um, but yeah. you do say that. <laughs> do you say that virtually every time? <laughs> do I? Yes. When I was at school, we had a we had a cleaner who was a bit special. Let's let, let's say, and he always used to say, "Oh, you won't, so you won't see me next month, next next term." It's like, okay, fair enough. Next time he was back there. It's like, what happened? <laughs> oh, you won't see me next term. Well, we have got a few changes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Haven't we? Well, yeah, we might be both in check shirts, <laughs> <laughs> something, like, something like that. We might have lost, lost some of the competition prizes. How was that stone spray sandwich? Has that gone out yet? No, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ever enter competition. I, I just emailed the guys. They don't. What can I just say? If you, if I, he's email, blaming you now. No, I'm not. If you, if you enter a competition and I send you an email, it's me. I'll send you the prize. <laughs> it's me. It's not spam. You'll get the prize, whatever it is you've won. Just give me a shout. And there was because there was a few before Christmas I had to catch up with, and I did. They yeah. had them before Christmas, and they posted their pictures on Facebook. Yeah, there was a guy photographing in, in Tommy's Tommy Searle's kit. Tommy Searle's kit, you know, it's just yeah, it was uh, yeah. They do go out, but you've got to reply. If you don't reply, you go. But the, the the basically the law is there's competition rule or whatever it is. Um, if we send out an email with the no, oh, carry on. It's really interesting. <laughs> Send that email. Terms and conditions apply. Yeah, we've got to wait 28 days to do if they don't reply. So and send that again. Yeah. So it, that one's coming up again. To, well, oh, it should be up 28 days. So yeah. Thanks. Really interesting. Thanks. I got to go. <laughs> Just explain to the yeah, viewers. Lovely. They're loving it. They've t- switched off now. Yeah. It's darkness. We're playing to nothing. Right. So until next week. Um, we shall see you, uh, Phoenix, and what else have we got there? Just Phoenix, I think yep. it is. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week.